What's up, everybody? Welcome to a special spooky episode of Thought Sauna. I am Brett Haunty Hanrahan. Haunty. Um. Sam Spooky Rizzly. Oh, that was a very spooky name. Y'all make my name feel a little too long now. (laughs) What is yours? Mine feels a little bit like a sentence now. What is it? (laughs) Hey, everybody. (laughs) That's your name. Hey, it's uh, it's Cyan. How can someone be this gay and have this little money, Haskins? (laughs) <laughs> That's extremely huh. scary. Yeah. Yeah. God Ooh. dang. I just want my direct deposit to go through. That's all. That's all. That's we, all I really want. We just want the want these checks to go through. I y'all. just want my money. Yeah. You know. That's all we want. Well, it is Friday the thirteenth, y'all. I am feeling especially <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> yeah, we are in my life. <laughs> we are full of spook. Um, I'm not sure if I have a new tattoo yet or not. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, what? Um, How are you unsure of that? Well, because it is Friday the 13th during the day, um, and I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to get my tattoo at midnight on Friday the 13th or not, even oh. though it's already happened. So I may or may not have a tattoo right now as we speak on this episode, since we are recording this on Friday the 13th, Sam. Yeah, because we always right. record this on the right. same day we upload right. it. So yeah, it's not so, to dis- deserve the magic. So our special right. episodes that are special uh, are filmed on the same day. It may be it may in be front just of a like, live studio audience. All that's of right. them. That's right. And that's where the clapping is, obviously, in the laughing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you gonna actually edit that in, or are we just gonna? No, I'm probably no, just no, gonna keep no, it it's, silent. Remember, it's the one dude from last episode. We only have one person. Right. Yeah. We decided to av- add a laugh yeah. track to our podcast. And it's the dude. And he sounds like this. <laughs> they did it! Ah! Ah! That's going to happen every single time we make a funny joke. Which no, is good you'll never hear it boys. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never hear that laugh again. Well, without further ado, let's get on to our first spooky subject. Who's starting us off? <laughs> Who has the least scary uh, topic? I don't. I don't know. Mine's we don't. Kinda... We don't discuss the topics before we go. Well, so who we don't. I know. Thinks? What I mean. I know I you think. guys are very much like abhorrently opposed to driving. Yeah, so, I do hate that. Yeah, yeah, we both do not like to drive. So I think mine could be kind of scary for you guys. <laughs> okay. Oops. I. I think I should go last. Okay. Sam, go ahead. All right. My my thought comes to us from the official shot, th- shower thought, the official shots, official shower thought on Tumblr. Someone possessed and it Sam says, and made him really bad at podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a couple inches of white paint is all that separates millions of cars from crashing into each other. Yep. Oh, like on the Yeah, roads. for a second I was like, what yeah. paint okay. what magic paint are on the cards? And then I Yeah. It's like, I was like it's what? not that strong. <laughs> no, no. They're talking about like those little stripes on the road. That's literally all that's keeping someone from just like driving around. And even then it really I isn't mean, stopping anyone. I have thought about this so many times throughout my friggin' phobia of cars that all I have to do is turn the wheel slightly left at the wrong time, and that's it. Yeah. I'm history. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I've th- th- Thoughts like that are why I'm so scared of driving. Because the human <laughs> the human error is so... The margin is so small of human error. Yeah, literally. To cause a, a, an accident, a wreck. Like, a person can make a very, very, like, innocent, simple mistake that could kill, like, five people. And that's, like, the worst. Because they could just see somebody who, like, doesn't know a certain thing about like a button in the car and has to like glance at it for a second and then like it's all over that sucks that sucks and this topic sucks actually which which is why i've come up with a solution oh thank god oh i turned this into the government to mr trump a couple weeks ago i said instead of the trump won't do anything instead of the silly white lines 
I say we put moats between the lanes. <laughs> I say we put moats that? of gators between the Yeah, lanes. I was going to say, are there going to be that alligators in the That somehow seems worse? Yeah. No, it's safer, Sam. Shut up. It's Listen safer to for they everybody turn? because there are actual consequences if you don't really think about when you're going to change lanes. Yeah. If you if you, but, if you try to change lanes, like, oh, I got to get over to this lane real quick. You didn't think about it. You didn't prepare. You didn't put in your GPS. You're going to the gators. Sorry. It's, Wait, it's so what if you do need? what if you do need to change lanes? What do you do then? Then you wait until an allotted designated change lane area that happens every 50 feet. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. See, my thing is, I know I'm a decent, I'm a, I know I'm a good enough driver to where, like, I'm able, like, I won't hurt anyone or, like, end it. But the problem is, the, to me, the problem is other drivers. I don't know them. I can't. Trust them. Yeah, that's what my fear is. That's why I don't drive. Because I'm like, so I know, I'm, I know. I'm a drive. very, I can be a very cautious driver at times because I'm like, if I see someone even swerve, I instantly like give them a solid six car lengths ahead of me, so that way I do not have to interact with them at all. Yeah, that's what the entire like driving safety classes were about. Is just, hey, people are stupid. Watch out for them. That's literally the entire basis of defensive driving. It's just like driving is not hard. If you do it once or twice, you'll figure it out. But people are dumb, and you have to you have to look out for them. Yeah, people are dumb and instantly somehow forget the shit they learned at driving school instantly. And can we please talk about one of the worst offenders of driving that I've ever uh... had the mispleasure of experiencing? Sign sign because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's her parents. It's my own <laughs> it's two science parents. parents. <laughs> Absolute maniacs on the road. Here are two of the worst moments of my life. <laughs> Number one was the Easter lunch that we had at my sister's house where Avery and I had to ride in the back seat of my dad's car while my dad drove us 45 minutes to my sister's house and we were texting the entire time because we were too scared to speak to each other about how afraid we were. The other time was Brett and I getting picked up <laughs> in Waco with get, the exact same scenario to get driven home by my mother in the longest two hours of my life the most terrifying two hours of my life I will honestly say it is in the top five most terrifying moments of my life was when Sign's mom drove us from Waco to Austin she drove us to Pantera which didn't oh my help. god! She was always going like ten above the speed limit. I just remembered that like you and I did the same thing that Avery and I did. You and I both just texted each other. Yeah, we were too throughout scared. the yeah. entire ride, <laughs> we were trying to help each other cope we're by texting each other throughout the trip. I, I would keep glancing they were back in, at you, being like, "They were okay? in a group. They, we were in a Telegram group chat, and like <laughs> yeah. I was driving back. I was driving back from dropping them off at Waco because they'd been staying at my place." We, and I just keep getting, I just keep getting messages of like where I like I'll be listening to my podcast and then I'll hear ding and I'll look down and some messages for Brett and Cyan and I'm like I can't check that now I'm driving so I I get home and it's just like a solid string of messages that are like you guys like we're gonna die we're gonna yeah. die yeah we're no gonna... we were in genuine belief <laughs> I I thought it I thought it was the end when we got to Brody oh my God Brody okay but like Mopac. Like, getting on Mopac was terrifying and one of the worst times, but I was like, it can't get worse than that. At least we're, like, in a place that I recognize and it's safe and all the roads are, like, home roads that I know and drive on every single day of my life. Yeah. And then we got to Brody, the road I am the most familiar with, the road I have driven on the most, the <laughs> road that I have lived on. And it turned in not into a road, but into a playground for your mother's demonic driving Satiation turned into a minefield of fear and anxiety and panic as my mom drove what I could have sworn was still 90 down Brody, which was bumper to bumper. We were going so fast in this bumper to the bumper. The speed limit road. on Brody is like 35. We were going so fast. And every single person that wronged her, every single person that went one under the speed limit, she would get so close to. She, she would kiss their bumper with hers. If Going she could 90. Have, she would have gotten out of the car, pulled them out of the car, beat them up, threw them, th 
three miles the other way, got back in her car, and then drove three miles to the person, drove over their corpse, and then went back to the road. Like that's, that's what she would do to every single person that wronged her. And she just had to express that in a way where she didn't need to get out of the car. So that was taking it out on us. So this is why I think the moat plan is a surefire, no drawbacks plan. Because if that happens, if your mom starts driving like that again, she goes into the one of the most, she goes to the gators. She's, ah, oh, gosh, I'm in the, with the gators now. I obviously need to change my life decisions. Yeah, like, man, I got in the gators. I need to drive a little differently. And they aren't mean gators. In fact, the gators are educated, and they will tell you, they will teach you the driving safety laws. Yeah, and the gators They're actually know. Like, gators are registered defensive driving instructors. <laughs> yeah, like, the yeah. If, if you fall into the gators and they're like, Oh, welcome back. This is your second strike. You know? And then if the gator sees you and they're like, all right, dude, this is the fifth time you've fallen into the gators. We're eating you this time. I don't, look, I don't want to make you go to the classes. So I'm giving you this last chance. I don't want you to go to the classes because I know you're better than this. But one more time and we're going to have to find you and take you to the classes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that plan. I love these guys. Brett, remember that video you sent us of like, got two guys trying to get out of the river and like they're being chased by a crocodile oh, yeah. and so the one gets, <laughs> one guy gets up on the shore starts chucking rocks at it and his friend's still struggling to get up so the dude just like takes his hand takes like he just goes and like pile drives the alligator he just he just freaking dives in and elbow drops the alligator Jesus. yeah and it is the most it's the most Viking thing I've seen in a while. There was this for sure. There was this dude who uh, wanted to impress this girl, so he was like, "I'll jump into this lake that has alligators in it," and she was like, "Okay," and he did it, and lo and behold, an alligator attacked him and bit his arm and latched onto his arm, and like he was like, "Yeah, I was in that water. I was twenty feet deep, and the alligator was dragging me down, and I thought this is it. I'm gonna die," uh, and then I gouged its fucking eyes out and swam back up. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, that's what you got. <laughs> if you want to survive, and he was like, there's it, a mess you got to do. He was like getting interviewed in the hospital and he was all drugged up and he was like, yeah, dude, my arm got fucked up. Like, I thought the guy was going <laughs> to bite it off. And they were like, did the girl go on another date with you? And she was like, yeah, she thought it was cool. You know, we're still hanging out. <sighs> that is supporting <sighs> terrible behavior. Well, no, also, yeah. he was like, don't were like, encourage we're gonna this. No, they said they were going to capture and euthanize the alligator. And he was like, nah, y'all better let that alligator have a good life. That alligator what? did nothing you wrong. I was defending myself. That alligator is defending itself. We're both still yeah, alive. You like, let that well, motherfucker live. <laughs> At least he's reasonable when he's drugged up. <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, don't kill the alligator. This motherfucker jumped into an alligator pond. And I don't know what else he expected to happen. <laughs> It was like, no, he was go. He was hopping in. He's like, look at this. And he hopped in expecting to get a driving lesson. But these they, they weren't the same alligators. These were not government mandated. Well, he was out of the country. Alligators. He was in a different country. He was in a different country. So it wasn't the same. Our alligators here uh, are part of part, These were not part DMV of trained alligators. Exactly. Exactly. We are 15 in minutes into this podcast. Let's go on to our next segment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, mine's a little interesting, but this is the spooky episode. Mine's not necessarily a law. Um, okay. It's a court case. Oh. <laughs> so, this court case is called Stamvosky versus Ackley. Oh. Also, it's also known as the what? Ghostbusters ruling. Oh, let's keep. Let's I'm call it by sorry? That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that alone sounds good. Um, basically though, this guy bought a house, uh, and it was haunted, um, and he got mad, and he sued the person who sold him the house, and was like, hey dude, you didn't tell me this house was haunted, and the guy was like, uh, that's not, that's not real dude, it's a, it, are, are you 12? And the guy was like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> and they were like, let's see. Seller who had undertaken to inform the public at large about the existence of poltergeist on the premises to be sold and a stop to deny existence of poltergeist on the premises. So the house was haunted as a matter of law, and the seller must inform the purchaser of the haunting. Man. Thank God. Yeah, I mean, good. Like... I, I swear to God, I'm, I'm never going to buy a house until I get the government verification 
the official verification that it, there are no ghosts on this premises, that there will be no poltergeists. Yes. Yeah. Can you? So like, I'm not I'd messing the with that. Yeah, I'd sign. I'd like. I would sign a sheet by the realtor and be like, "Can you legally?" like sign this paper saying there are for a fact no ghosts this and is if it turns out there are ghosts you owe me a free house you owe me it's if you get a house and you do ouija in the basement and you do mess with that kind of stuff that's fair game that's your fault but if you go yeah. in there but if it's a pre-existing condition much like <laughs> medical much like medical insurance here in america yeah that you can reject it Hey, sorry, I'm not taking your haunted house. That's that's my only guideline. That's the only box that I need checked when I buy yeah. a house. I don't really care how many rooms be, there are. It could be a five care. foot by five foot square. As long as it's not haunted, it's, it might be a house. As long as it's not haunted, there's a chance. Can there's I read? A chance. Can I read? Like what they said? Please. We're as here. The seller not only takes unfair advantage of the buyer's ignorance, but has created and perpetuated a condition about which he is unlikely to even inquire. Enforcement of the contract, in whole or in part, is offensive to the sort sense of, equi of equity. Application of the remedy of recession within the bounds of the narrow exception to the doctrine of Kavit Emtor set forth herein is entirely appropriate to relive the unwitting purchaser from the consequences of a most unnatural bargain. That's what they call it. <laughs> a most unnatural bargain. Most Holy unnatural. shit, that's the best wording to a law ever. <laughs> <laughs> all, all that other stuff you said was some Latin to yeah, for sign to try to bless the person who got the haunted house. The dissenting opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the existence of a poltergeist is no more binding upon the defendants than it is upon this court. <laughs> <laughs> so look... Hi, I, I really want this house. Uh, I'm going to get my people out here. going to make sure there are no repairs that need to be done. And I'm also going to get a priest just to make sure, yeah, I need to, you know. I need to get uh, my uh, local church in on this to make sure that, like. My local exorcist just to make sure, you know, there are no things that aren't by regulation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. All right, first off, how did this guy not know this house was haunted? Let me read you the fucking description of this house. First hold off, on, hold it's, on, a, real quick. it's a Victorian I have to, house. Real quick, I have to open I have to open some Velcro, so I'm going to make sure no one can hear it. Ah! All right. <clears throat> All right, cool. What? Uh, so first off, the the first word to describe the house is Victorian. So like it's haunted. Right off the bat. That's already 50/50. It's a Victorian yeah. waterfront home. All right. You're, you've, that lowered sounds... it to like you've lowered it to like twenty five. You've lowered it to like twenty five seventy five in favor of being haunted. Like that sounds so like five from eighteen ninety with five you... bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and four thousand six hundred and twenty eight square feet. Jesus Christ! This was a mansion. Yeah, had five bedrooms. Fifth, yeah, fucking accounts of paranormal activity. How? How do you not look at that house and go, it also, it was red. How do you not look at a red Victorian waterfront home and go, yeah, that's not haunted. That looks good. It was built in the 1800s. Yeah, I'll buy it. No ghosts in there. Some people aren't as in tune to the spiritual realm. They oh. they go in and the person trying to get them to buy the house distracts them with nice cookies, hot cookies, and ooh, this the bathroom was redone. It's porcelain. <laughs> yeah, and they just distract them from the spiritual ghostly specters. Yeah, well, I like how the first sentence of like the court thing was like, the buyer is taking advantage of, the, or the seller is taking advantage of the buyer's ignorance. <laughs> and it's like I don't know if the seller right. thought it was haunted. <laughs> that, I think the seller was just selling a house. Like I don't know. If the seller didn't believe in ghosts, then it's it's not really their fault. Yeah, they can't, like yeah like. I don't know, man. You're so far away, Sam. Sam, come back. Sorry, I had to... I'm fixing something. Why are you fixing something on the podcast? What's with Velcro? Because something fell. I don't want to ask any further what, what events transpired over there, because I feel like it's haunted. And I feel like the Ghostbusters ruling will come into play, and I don't want to have to deal with the lawyers. Deborah too fell, okay? I'm fixing it. 
Ew. Wait, why was she? Wait, what Deborah was she Velcroed to? There's no Deborah two. Who do you? Have? I named her Deborah two. Oh, the second. We gave Sam a bunch of mannequin heads. If any of y'all cared for the context behind that. And yes, the mannequin heads are haunted. We did tell him about that. He bought them willingly. I didn't so buy them. You this gave doesn't them need to, to be me. brought Sam into court. Sam spent $125 to buy them from me. Uh, very weird. I was like, dude, just take them. They're just mannequin heads. And he was like, no, I want to pay you. He insisted. He insisted that he pay. But yeah, no, I have all of them sitting out on my windowsill looking outwards. <laughs> to so any way- unfortunate soul that happens to glance. Oh, yeah, dude. You know it. If someone's trying to break into that house, they're going to turn tail pretty quick. I put I put one in the... F- I put For a little while, I put one in the fridge. <laughs> How'd she feel when she was nice and cold? Better than sitting in the fucking window. It's probably warm. And then, uh... she's. It's all good now. We're all. It's all fixed. Okay, but, great. Um, I really but, uh, needed to know how the situation was over there. But, uh... I also hid one in Chris's bed. <laughs> and did he appreciate I, that? <laughs> I hid it and I put I placed it under the covers. And uh, <laughs> he went to bed that night and he came back out and he said, "Sam, I jumped onto it." <laughs> <laughs> he attacked it. <laughs> he said he leapt onto his bed expecting to just land on a bed <laughs> he oh was like, no uh, he said it crushed his ribs oh god this was the day before he got married too oh no sam why would you do that to him why would you attack him like that i just expected him to like pull back the covers you didn't expect him to do a full frontal dive no nah, dude the dude is no. getting married what did, what the fuck did you expect from him Fair he's enough. very tired other than like a woo. But anyway, so yeah, if I were to put those heads in a house such as the one described, whoo, it would absolutely be 130% haunted. They would possess them immediately. As soon yeah, as you dude. cross that door threshold. Oh yeah, as soon as the head is in the house, haunted. like they're alive. They're so susceptible to hauntings, those heads. They're so susceptible. Ooh. Especially Sam oh. too. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sam, Sam Two, the sequel to Sam. Yeah, made with innovative, uh, haunting capabilities. Yeah. So judges, should this law stay, stay, stay in? Absolutely. In law? In I, I think so too. I think the buyer should deserves to be informed if the house they're buying uh, is haunted. That way, Absolutely. like you don't you don't want to catch people unaware. Like, hey, this house ha- might have a ghost. It's kind of like. It's really rude to be like, hey, just as a he- like, it's really rude to not tell people if the house is like straight up missing a door. Yeah, like some infrastructure mm-hmm. uh, handicaps. Like you would, you wouldn't, you would tell people like, hey, the foundation is cracked. Well, but so you have to tell them like, hey, it's haunted. Also, this is on an Indian burial ground. And yeah. if you're not ignorant, you know what that means. If you've watched the movie Poltergeist or at least seen the Family Guy episode, you know what that means. <laughs> maybe the maybe the house seller was trying to tell the person that it was haunted, but the person just didn't understand. Could didn't not it. connect the dots. Like this was right, on an bro. Indian burial ground. The pictures have eyes. The lamps move at night. And he's like well, yeah, that's probably just like the wind. He's like, "Well, cool. What a crazy wh- you're bu- you're selling me smart house." Wow, <laughs> technology's gone so far. Technology really does grow exponentially, doesn't it? And then, just like the average shopper, they came to the manager and complained that they weren't warned that their coupons were expired, or yeah. in this case, that the house was haunted and Even he was possessed it was so by a ghost. Obvious, right there. It's right on the coupon. It literally says on the coupon the date it expires, and it is past that date. It literally says on the coupon the day that the haunting will start. (laughs) It literally says in the contract, right? Like, instead of saying sign here, it says it's haunted. Are you going to sign still? And also, he he did it. We are running a little. We are running a little close to. uh... Yeah, we're all right, Brett. You have four minutes. Go. (laughs) Oh God. Okay, this is a pretty long one, though.
No, we'll go over. Listen, it's we'll fine. we'll cut out some of the we'll cut out some of the fat, y'all. We'll cut out the Velcro head adventure. I th- we got plenty of time. This is no. We got to include the Velcro hat adventure, especially my very special technique for opening Velcro without anyone hearing it. What well, that was screaming. Yeah, I learned that from a Navy SEAL. He seemed like a very educated man. Here's oh, yeah. the oh, drink. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was Sorry, favorite... son was just opening some Velcro. He was my favorite yeah. shade of blue. <laughs> Brett, your turn. Navy. This one comes from Splodgery Do on Reddit. That's me. Nice. That's, yeah, that's you, Sign. Thanks for sending this one in. This is a bit of a long one, but I think it is well worth it. And I wanted it to go last because it is one of the scariest things I've heard in a very long time. Okay. Here we go. I was sitting in a field just relaxing. A railway line is running through the field, and I notice a strange object in the middle of the track. I go to a investigate. Train. And it's one of those ball in a cup toys. Mm. The second I pick it up, the string suddenly wraps around me, and I'm bound to the rails like a cliche Western movie. Oh no. Sure enough, a train approaches. It's Percy from Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> He's charging me full speed and stops a couple of feet away from me. After I get a close look at him, his face looks like he just got the shit beaten out of him. Uh- in a very disturbing, raspy voice, he mutters, Help me. I don't want to end up like the others. What? Followed by a blood-churning scream. I oh, oddly no. said, what the fuck, when I woke up. That's it? And that's the dream. What the fuck? That's haunting. That's terrifying. That sucks. That was an omen. That's, that's what that was. That sucks. That was a message. Percy from Thomas the Tank Engine was about to about to run over this guy, stopped a few feet from him, and said, help me, I don't want to end up like the others, and screamed. That's a demon. A demon, like, That's came into straight up. A demon to tried to brain. enter your... A demon tried to enter your house, so that way it could lower your real estate value. <laughs> it tried to enter through this person's dreams? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you gotta come in somehow. They there was a Percy toy lying around the the kid's bedroom, and through that through that association, it channeled Percy and said, "Uh, boy, man, those interest rates are too much." No, now I do. Now I am imagining that the guy who got had this dream had like the Percy toy. So like this dream happened like a seven year old. And the seven-year-old woke up and said, what the fuck? I got to post this on my Reddit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I would. Now I'm imagining this situation of this child being like, what the fuck? All right, time to Reddit. Because that was an omen. Something yeah. happened to that kid. Something happened to that kid and they got a fair warning. And whether they, whether they used it to their advantage or not is beyond my knowing. But something happened to that kid. Maybe maybe there was some railway. Maybe him and his friends were playing along it one day. And they were just playing along it. And one of the kids had a ball in a cup. And the, the dude was like, uh, wait, guys, this is, this is bad. I had a premonition about this once. And then Percy from Thomas the Tank Engine came up. <laughs> I was about to be like, where is he, where is Brett going with this? Where is, what joke is he taking it to? And then the voice actor for Percy came up and he... He beat them up and took their toy. <laughs> and that's all the warning was? Yeah, that's all it was. It was like, hey, the, VI, the VA for this guy. Isn't it, it, was, it was 13 years of this kid waiting for this premonition to come true. No, that sucks, dude. I wouldn't be able to live with myself after having that dream. I would be too scared yeah, to I'd... go on. I don't know if I'd go on trains anymore. I don't think oh, I could not. either. Absolutely not. What was, what was the train suffering from? What are the others suffering? What happened to the others? We'll never know. <gasps> Unless... Do you think... Let's interview him on the episode. <laughs> Get him on the show. Yeah, I'll hit him up. I'll hit him up and see where his life went from there. Maybe, maybe when you pick up the ball and cup, you turn into a train? Or something? Well, no, because in that case, then Tracy's already ended up like the others. What happened to the others? 
What changed them from their state of being happy trains? Why was Tracy beat up? <laughs> Who punched the train? Who yeah. started, like, fist fighting the train? What do you think the faces on Thomas the Tank Engine trains feel like? Do you think it's metal or do you think it's fleshy? Ooh, I think it's fleshy. I think it's a little of both. Yeah? I think it's, it's, it's very hard skin. It's, like, as if you froze skin. Like, if you punched hard enough, it will, like, kind of... But, yikes. Yeah. Ew. It's, it's, it's gross textured that I don't want to think about. Yeah, that's, that is bad. <laughs> Man, this was terrifying. I, it's Friday the 13th. We're all getting spooky. I'm just treating this as an early Halloween. Yeah. A, yeah, a it really Halloween, is. Honestly. It's just like Halloween for like people like me who just can't wait to have Halloween once a year and need it like a few times. Yeah. Like, all right, you get Halloween and then also like one or two months throughout the year, we'll get a Friday the 13th. And I'm like, cool, thanks. But you do rock the Halloween style all year long. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not, it's never ending. Like, if you go to Science House in the future, there will be, there will be witch decorations, there will be bats. It will be very Halloween oriented. My like once like when I move, my place is gonna look so fucking cute. It's gonna look so spooky. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be like the nightmare before Christmas, over there. That just got me thinking. I put in an application for a house. I need to figure out how I'm gonna decorate it. Yep. Oh no, Sam. Sam, hmm? did you ask them about any spectral activity? Oh, Sam, we should... Ah, oh, damn I'm, it. Shit, I'm renting it. I don't think that apl that law applies. <laughs> damn, you're right. Maybe not. I feel like they still have to tell maybe, you, though. Maybe it doesn't apply. Like, maybe that's, like, the loophole. But, like, I think that if you brought it up to, like, court, you would... They win. have to legally tell you if it's haunted if you ask them. Like, if... Yeah. 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 So ask them. Because if you don't, if you and all your other roommates that are going to be living there stay there then suddenly week three comes by y'all all have the same dream about percy from thomas the tank engine beating you up then who's gonna who's gonna help you from that you can't get you can't sue someone for that it's too late mm -hmm. you gotta be proactive not reactive yeah <laughs> yep i guess i i can't get that money well it looks like sam's dead um send in applications to become the third host of thought sauna in the Discord yep. server to replace Sam once well, he inevitably dies from this haunting. I was about to say, I, I I don't know where you're getting this dead thing. I'm still replying. Yeah, no, we have we have like three or four more episodes with you, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I feel think like that's, that's hopeful. A, yeah, we can record a good amount, but Splotry do you're first on the list. Obviously, yeah, we are going to contact you. The offer is here. Go ahead and just email us your resume. We'll take a look. You can come in for an interview. To uh to the man who recently got on our discord server mineyful welcome we didn't mean to ignore you we that definitely ignored you but you're also yeah. on the list i'm s we're so <laughs> sorry i was out of town yeah i don't use discord that much and i was kind of expecting sam to get on it i'm go i'm going to be on discord much more because i've this past month has been insane because i've been house hunting i had my birthday and then my friend got my my best friend or one of my best friends got uh married and i was the best man at his wedding i had to plan that and the speech that sam gave i don't think i've seen sam that excited <laughs> in ever since since we were in middle school since we were in elementary school i've never seen sam that excited to do anything but give the best man speech at his friend's wedding it i was, was so nervous dude it it lightened my day up. It was great. A lot. It's a great video to watch. <laughs> it was, yeah, we'll send it. We'll send it through all the servers. I was about to say, should I post it in the like speech. Discord? Should I post it in the Discord? Yeah, po yeah, post it in Discord. Y'all can come check out our Discord server. And... <laughs> yeah, it'll be on. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Book Talk, maybe. We'll we'll hide <laughs> it in one of these so many servers we have. Because we have a, a uh, lot. Maybe hot There's plate. So many servers. Maybe memes. We have to delete some of them because I can't handle this. Like looking through this. There are text channels yeah. and then there are media channels. Oh, those are for like pictures. All right. 
Yeah, I can't handle all that shit. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's 36 minutes. We're talking about very arbitrary stuff. We did the thing yeah. where we just started hanging out yeah. on accident. You, you know, Whoops. You know Sorry, y'all. <laughs> we, you can find us on Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Spotify, iTunes. We're we're practically everywhere, y'all. We did it. We we finally like started to get everywhere. We're like doing stuff now. You send us your dreams, your laws, your thoughts. We'll gladly take them. I really, I really quick just had a spooky thought. What's your spooky thought? <gasps> spooky, spooky pussy. Sp, spoo. No, don't even. Bye. Bring a towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, cut it. <laughs> <laughs>